Hey folks, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge and Goods, Gadgets and Gear. I'll have this video posted on both channels. And that's because when I first got in contact with Big Eye Design uh, over a year ago, I only had the channel Canadian Cutting Edge and I told them I'd put their videos on that channel. And so this video is also on Canadian Cutting Edge, even though it's not really about knives or anything or EDC type stuff. As you saw on the cover, this is the Neo Lucida XL. And what is that? This is a device that helps amateur artists uh, draw things accurately. Now, it's going to make you a better artist in the sense of it will help you gain uh, proper um, dimensions for, for stuff. Now, I like, I, sometimes I like to draw knives, sometimes I like to draw all kinds of stuff. Uh, very often if I'm drawing something, you know, I get the proportions wrong. Maybe I get the handle of the knife too big or, you know, shaped wonky and not accurate, you know, if I'm trying to copy one that is, or the blade, you know, the shape of it's just wrong. With this device, which is a very simple device that, uh, you know, actually has a fair bit of precision to it. So it's simple, but it's precise. And that's why it has that uh, expense to it. And it's super useful. <laughs> Uh, lots of R and D went into this, even though it looks like it's super easy. But uh, it, I think it was, I think it's ingenious what they did here. But of course, they copied a genius from several centuries ago for the technology. Uh, what we have here is a device that, when you look down through, uh, you know, the top here, through the little hole at the top, you see an image reflected off of this piece of glass and off the piece of glass that's at the back here. So we've got glass here. We've got glass in this piece here, and we have a uh, filter, a shader, if you will, back here if there's too much light and you need to filter it down a little bit. So this is optional, and I'll show it to you a little bit later, I think. You know, you look through the hole and you see what's in front of you, and it's reflected onto the paper down in front of you, so that you just draw the lines and you see exactly where everything is. And so I'll show you, I'll show this, uh, how I used it. I'll show that to you in just a minute. But what do you get in this deal? Well, you get this C-clamp with this uh, gooseneck arm on it. And it's that, you know, coiled around kind of arm. And so if it gets too loose, which I'll show you later, one of the things about this is sometimes when you're using it and you, you clamp it down, when you've got it just in place, it'll move a little bit on you. And that's if this gets a little too loose. And since it's coiled, you can actually uncoil it and make it loose, but you can recoil it. That's that filter, it's plastic, so that's safe. But you can re-tighten the coiling and that makes it stay better where it is supposed to be. So it can get looser. And if you find this getting all loose and wonky, what you need to do is you need to twist it in the same direction that this coil is and that'll tighten it up and make it work better. So you get this device, uh, this end is detachable right here. Uh, you can just turn it and it'll unscrew right there. I'll put it back on because I don't want it coming loose and falling. And that's basically the device. Uh, you get a bag for it. It's a carry bag if you want it. You get a little microfiber cloth for it. Uh, you get one of the best things that you get is you get this isn't the best thing. You know, you get a list of everything that comes with it in the box. And this diagram shows you how to use it. And this diagram comes with it as well. This is a nice board, nice solid piece. And it shows you uh, exactly how to use it, how to configure the shade. And uh, you can hang the shade out front of the device. So it shades the light coming in. Or you can put the shade in the back where it shades the reflection. Or you can put the shade across the bottom. <laughs> and you have three places you can put that shade. And it's a very simple device to use. Um, and as it says right here, to change the drawing size, change the distance between the Neo Lucida and your paper. So how high it is off the table changes the size. The higher it is off the table, the bigger the image will be on your paper. And if you want a smaller image, go down closer. Very simple, great little instructions. 
And there are videos online about this too. And uh, at the end of this video, after I show you how I used it, I'll tell you about the prices. So watch this. So here's the setup that I came up with in my kitchen. I decided to draw a knife, of course. And uh, there it is. I still haven't reviewed this guy. That's uh, Kaiser. Looks pretty good. Uh, leave the sheath to the side. Paper on the table. Uh, sorry there's not better light here. Got lots of lights on, you know, but still. Um, yeah, it's not. There we go. You can see it there. It's clamped onto the table. Not the best lighting here, but. And you put your paper on the table and you set it up over the object that you're looking at. And there's the object. And like this. So you look down through here, straight down through this, and you will see the knife on the paper. Just a little cloudy image of it with crisp edges though, but it's, it's kind of faint is what I should say, not cloudy, faint. And it's on the paper and then you just trace it. It does help. I took this little light and I put this light uh, on the object from the front. That helped a fair bit. And then you just sort of trace. This will not turn you into a perfect artist, not by any chance whatsoever. You still have to learn about shading. You still have to learn about how hard you're going to push with your pencil, how light, you know, all kinds of stuff. You still need a steady hand. There's still all kinds of things that you need. But, you know, as you see here, these instructions that come with it show very clearly what you need to do. It's, you know, a rather straightforward system. And uh, there's also this filter, and that may or may not come in handy. Toy with that to see if you get a better look at it or not. And then there you go. So here's an image of what I drew. Let's put the light down this way. Now that light's not perfect. It's got some dark spots. But that's the Kaiser right there that I drew from right there. Not bad. Not bad for a beginner, if you ask me. And I always had a terrible time getting uh, everything the right size, the dimensions. You know, if I was going to try, try to draw a knife or copy one, you know, I'd have the handle way too big or the blade way too big or something. And this keeps everything in proper proportion. And then you still need your own artistic skill to finish it off. But you will be able to get everything the right size and in the right spot if you use this new Lucida. And uh, I think it's a rather good system. There's one thing that I found challenging. And let me sit down here to try to explain it. And that is getting this in the exact right position because it tends to want to, you, you move it and you let go and it moves a little bit again. So yeah, you put it somewhere and it moves a little bit. So it takes a fair bit of finessing to get everything just right. So there you go. That's the Neo Lucida XL. I think it works very well for what it is, but it isn't a be all end all, you know, turn you into a perfect artist kind of tool. It's a tool that will help you get everything in proper place, proper location compared to what you're actually seeing. And it puts an image down on the paper for you to trace. The rest is up to you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching that. How much does this device cost? Right now it's 75 US dollars. That's full price. It's been around for about a year. Uh, it's getting some good reviews. It's getting a good review for me. Uh, one thing that I need to tell you about it is that you have to stand in order to make this work or you'd have to get a really low table. Uh, and that's like for me with my chronic pain in my knees. Uh, I actually have sore back as well. You know, arthritis is just nasty. It just starts going everywhere, doesn't it? Uh, but you basically have to get up over it to use it. And uh, that's a little bit tricky for me personally. So think about that before you go and buy one. And the only other thing is, is that gooseneck thing. If you have it loose, whenever you put it somewhere, it's going to sag a little bit and, and move. And it's going to be hard to position it. So you can tighten that up manually. So there's all kinds of little tricks to make this thing work better uh, in case something's a little bit wonky for you. But you can always write me an email and ask me if you've got a question. So that's the video, $75. What if you don't have $75? They've got the version that came before this XL version and it's on for $39 right now. 
almost half the price. It's a whole lot smaller. I'll show you a picture of it right now. So as you can see, compared to the XL, it's a whole lot smaller, which means you have to have your head in exactly the right spot. It just takes a little more precision to align everything. But, you know, a person with patience can do that, no problem. And so you can carry it around easier too because it's smaller. Uh, and it's the other choice. So $75 for the XL version, $39 for the small version. There is shipping. There's a U.S. website for it and an international website for it. But all you have to do is go to one address. And if you're not in the U.S., it'll have a little pop-up on the screen asking if you want to go to the international page, the .co page instead of the .com page. And that'll take you to the international. And then it'll figure out all the shipping and everything for you right there. So this is the Neo Lucetta. I recommend it. I give it a 4.5 out of 5 if I was to do that. I don't usually give stars or ratings to things, actual ratings. But on this device, it's close to perfect. Um, just those couple little things, I wish I wouldn't have to get you know up over it. I don't have any tables that are down low, so I can't stand. So it's more of a personal thing. And I did have some frustrations getting that mech, getting the position just right. And it would just sag a little bit and move. And because that was... A little bit sloppy for me and took me a little bit of time to get figured out and sorted and everything and there's nothing in the instructions that talk about that I take off half a point four and a half out of five still a very high recommendation a great device so thanks for watching thanks for liking sharing commenting and subscribing and we'll see you next time on goods gadgets and gear and Canadian cutting edge bye for now